Hey guys, welcome back. It's part two of the Empowered Mom series. Today I get to chat with a very creative friend. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Finda, your empowered guide in business, fitness, and fragrance. This is part two of the Empowered Mommy series. If you have yet to check the one that I did last week, part one, please find the link up here and you'll check it out. I wanted to do something for mommies because we're celebrating May, the month, uh, the month of May, we celebrate Mother's Day. And as mothers, we do so many things. And at the same time, while being great moms, we also want to do things for ourselves. So that's why I thought that to create an Empowered Mommy series where we actually would show that being a mom and also going after what you want. It's a, it's a definitely a juggling act, but it's possible. Today, I have the privilege of that interviewing, actually talking, talking to a friend of mine who is incredibly driven and just has this thing for opulence, the way I describe it. She, her brand is called um, Diamonds and Pearl LLC. But before I go into any information about her, guys, make sure that if you're finding my content valuable, please click that subscribe, that subscribe button so you guys can help me grow. But further ado, here is Kwanda. Kwanda, how are you? I am well. We can share the mic, Kwanda. Oh, okay. Absolutely. So, Kwanda, my question for you is that, how did you start? And exactly, uh, how did you get into What did you do and how did you start? Wow. Well, I actually started here in my home. Um, it all began because I have so many incredible women in my life. Uh, I come from a line, a long line of entrepreneurs, uh, you know, business people, those who are in performing arts. And so doing what I do now didn't come hard. As a matter of fact, I was, I was thinking about these people and the impact that they had on my life and how much time they spent giving to other people, not just nurturing their business, but giving to other people. And so I got the bright idea I want to invite some of these women to my house and I want to do something for them. I want to pour back into them. And so I did that and I had surprises waiting for them. I had a whole spa treatment waiting for them. I hired the ma massage therapist. I hired uh, an esthetician for the facials. Uh, they had their pedicure kits and I had a, a woman of God who actually spoke spoke to them on a, a personal level, one on one. And so they were being nurtured mind, body and soul. And the fact that I was able to give that to them, it made me feel like I almost conquered the world, like I was some type of hero. That's amazing. I was going to say, sharing the mic as usual. Okay, that's that's amazing. My thing is, Kwanda, what you do, because I've been to her events before, and what she does, she provides an experience. Like, it's quite the experience, when, whatever she's doing. And it takes a lot of work, Kwanda, for you to actually create something that women can walk away from feeling special and just being wowed at the same time. Mm -hmm. So being a mom, because your boys are a little bit older, they're in college, how do you balance that out? How do you actually, you know, create that thing that you want to create at the same time, being a good mother at the same time? Okay, so when I first started doing this, my boys were much younger. They were in elementary school. The, the older one was in middle school. And I'm a person who likes to make lists and schedules. And I think that was very helpful in that I was able to budget my time by using my schedules and looking at the list to make sure everything was in place. And, you know, my boys were pretty good. They were pretty easy. So I, I didn't have uh, too much work when it came to managing them and managing what it is that I do. Um, and sometimes they helped. Sometimes I would have them package things for me. I would help them to carry things for me. And I would also bounce some ideas off of them because they are brutally honest. <laughs> They will tell me what works and what doesn't work. 
That's awesome. It's um, being a mommy to my son is much younger, but I, he's been around us for photo shoots. He's been around us when we just, he's watching exactly how we're putting this brand together, but he gets it. He gets it. So I feel like it's so awesome when your boys actually would be so honest with you, like, okay, what's work? What's not working? It's like, you have your own like group right there to let you know, okay, it's like, this, okay, let's go for this. For, exactly. You have your own focus group. I think that's so important for moms because as I said in the beginning, it's such a juggling act to be a good mom and also actually really go after what you want. And I feel like I wanted to show people, that's why I created this series, so that people know that it's so possible. It's possible, but you need that amazing team around you so people can also help you in that personal department also be when it comes to the professional department. Mm -hmm. So I'm just really glad that I'm able to actually bring this to you guys when that, you know, Kwanda really showing you guys exactly how she's able to create this amazing experience for women every time. So Kwanda, question for you. What advice would you give other women? that actually who would say, I'm not sure if I can go after what I want right now. My kids are younger or they're in school or every, any other excuse that they may have. What advice would you give a woman right now? Just do it. Just, it doesn't sound like much, but we'll always have a million reasons why we can't do what we want to do. Uh, because we're always helping everyone, right? We're, we're mom. Sometimes we're dad. Uh, we're the nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we wear so many different hats. You have to really hone in to what is your passion. What is it that you're really, really good at? That's the thing you want to pursue. And research it. Research it. See what other people are doing to help give you, an, not that you're going to steal what they're doing, to give you an idea of what it is that you should be doing. And then you add your own flavor to it. Uh, your own personality, um, and then plan. You have to have a plan. So we have these passions, but passion without a plan is just on paper. You have to, uh, um, you have to be able to write out what it is that you want, follow it, and then be consistent with it. Because, con well, I say be consistent with it because there are, there are going to be some obstacles. Everyone experiences these obstacles. There's going to be ups and downs. And you have to be someone who is resilient. You have to be someone who is persistent and consistent at following what you're supposed to do, pursuing that passion. And I would also advise women to eventually get a team, get a team of other like-minded individuals that sees your vision and that want to help you to make this vision come to life. So true. I agree with you a thousand percent. I completely agree with her. The one thing that you said that really stood out to me is you have to be persistent. Persistent is so important because guys that you know out there, when you start something, when you write it on paper, it looks really good. It sounds good. but it always does not go as planned, but that's what you have to kind of push through as when Kwanda was saying, you have to be persistent, getting a team, all of those things. It's so imperative when you're going after that, because at the end of the day, if you're not doing all that, you're going to feel so tapped out when it comes to just either pouring into your family or pouring back into your business. But when you have like that team behind you and also being persistent, it truly, truly does help at the end of the day. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, because you need that support. Absolutely. You can't, no one can do this on their own. No. You have to have a support system. You have to have someone that will say, you can do this. You also have to have those people who are actually more knowledgeable about what it is that you want to do in your corner so, so that they can help you in the areas where you're weak. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. And as I, as I said, guys, like everything that she's saying, I completely agree with it. I've been no, almost 10 years, 10, 10 years in, but everything I had to learn, trial and error, even being in front of a camera, it was a lot of trial and error, trial and error, but then I had to find exactly what my sweet spot was and then just kind of go for it. So I'm just really glad that I having this conversation, you know, with a friend about, you know, being an empowered mommy. But being that my content is a lot more, I would say, healthy food like focus. Yes. If you had, Guys, Kwanda works out, by the way. A lot she does. does. <laughs> she does. So she's really strict on what she eats too. So if you had this one healthy food that you actually could say, I can eat this forever, what would it be? Oh. Wow, I have to pick one. Okay. I would say avocados. Oh, I love those. That's good. I, I love I didn't always uh, 
when I became a real adult, I <laughs> started to appreciate the flavor of it and just all of the, uh, the health values that it has um, because it is a healthy fat. And sometimes I find myself um, eating it with everything. I'll eat it with fish. I'll eat it by itself. I'll eat it with maybe, you know, on some toast. Uh, you know, it has a, a million ways that you can actually prepare an avocado. But I, I would say that. And it's not heavy on the stomach either. Oh, it's not. So good. That's good. I love avocado. I can eat avocado literally every day if I could. So this has been a great conversation with my friend Kwanda. Kwanda, where can my followers find you on social media? Well, they can find me on my website. <laughs> We're going to start there at Diamonds Pearls Events LLC dot com. I'm also on Instagram and I'm on TikTok as well. That's Diamonds and Pearls Events on Instagram and on TikTok. Fantastic. Now, do you have any events coming up? If Kwanda has any events at all, guys, I'm going to actually drop it down below so you can check out the content. Like She has amazing events. If you're in the New Jersey, New York area, trust me, you want to check out her events. It's definitely an experience. It makes you just feel it's very feminine. And it's just like this amazing community of women just really kind of like empowering each other. That's really what it is. This has been a great conversation, guys. As always, I'm really, truly blessed to live my purpose to actually bring you guys Every, every week, just bring you guys like different series, just different things for you guys to really just learn about. I th I've learned that being empowered is to just really educate other people, important to other people, but also showing people that no matter how old you are, the time, whatever it is, even if you don't have the financial backing or education, just pour into yourself. You would be amazed to know exactly how, what you're doing, how you're inspiring other people, because it's literally like a chain. Somebody watches you doing something they thought they couldn't do. You do, you do it and they're doing it too, that other person can inspire somebody else. Guys, I'm really grateful. So so thankful for you guys tuning in today. Don't forget to tune out, tune again next week. I have another awesome, amazing power that's been coming in. As I say, always remember in everything that you do that power moves that keep moving. <laughs>